Uh, Jim Mansfield. Uh, hey. I buy your stuff in the store. Tell us the name of your farm. Uh, Four Hills Farm. I have seen that on my packages. Uh, I open them up and good stuff. starts. Oh, it's good stuff. You yeah. know what? You do it for a living. Mm -hmm. Now, we have three girls. Here comes Milk. Come on, girls. Myrtle. Now, as you look at these girls, you see two are a little bit heavier than the other ones. Uh -huh. But we're looking at April. It's still March. What are your thoughts? You know, they, they don't look like they're uh. they're uh, going to have babies real soon. Right. Good. So you need to be sure that you're feeding them good. Uh, alfalfa and corn, which looks like you are. And then you're going to watch for signs of when, when they're close, uh. close to going to have babies. What are those signs? What are some signs? Um, you'll see their udder swell up. Right. And then uh, most of the growth happens. It takes five months, you know, for them to gestate to have a to to make a baby. So most of the growth happens in the in the last third of that. So right. the last month and a half. So that's when they really put on weight. So it's going to be pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be pretty obvious. Yes. Now and then, we're looking at three uh, right here. You've got like 400. Yeah. That's a major operation. So when it comes to lambing season for you, I'm sure it's just like, okay, here we go. Nikki is scared to death. She's, she's really anticipating all kinds of troubles. What are some issues that we might have to deal with? Well, ideally, and this is what happens most of the time, you'll, you'll come out in the morning and there'll be a mom and two little babies. I like the sounds of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, most, of, most of the time, they'll have the babies by themselves. Right. They'll get them cleaned off and they'll be standing up and nursing within an hour. <laughs> the signs of trouble would be She's down, she's getting up, she's pacing around, she's getting back down, and nothing's happening. When they start to have a baby, you'll see two little feet come out, and then a nose, and away they go. That's what you want to see. Yeah, yeah. So um, if she has a baby, and then she seems like she's not settled, like she's circle around, uh, not really paying attention to the baby, and there's no afterbirth. After they have a baby, they'll have afterbirth, which is kind of a red sack and some gooey stuff right <laughs> <laughs> that 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 and and anyways that that means she's done having babies right if she has one there's no afterbirth and she doesn't seem settled well there's another baby in there could that happen on the first go around it could you give her some time if nothing's happening then you gotta then you gotta get your get your gloves out and you gotta turn assistance. that baby around huh if, if does it get backwards sometimes well, sometimes, it sometimes it does how often does that happen if you had to guess one out of a hundred, one okay. out of seventy-five. That's good. Not often. When you have a newborn baby, you first thing you want to do is clear the nose and the mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're there. Right. Uh, most of the time, mama take care of everything. You just clear that out. I always pick them up and kind of have the head down a little bit and give them a, a little back and forth, mm -hmm. just in case there's any fluid or anything that comes out. Right. All right. Let's talk about what you've got in your hand. Well, uh, actually, we've got a little starter kit. For you, uh, right. gift from the Kentucky gotcha. Sheep and Goat Development Wonderful. Office. Uh, Wonderful. We want your sheep uh, enterprise to be successful. Uh, we've got a few items that, are, that we consider uh, essential. Gotcha. Syringes. Okay. Once your baby is fine, you're going to want to give it a, his first his vaccination. Aha. Uh -huh. It's what they call C, D, and T. Gotcha. You can buy it at the regular farm. C, C D, and T. T. Yeah. Very good. Read the directions, but, it's, but we give them one ml. Gotcha. Under the skin. Gotcha. You know where to give a sheep a shot? I do not. Actually, right here it is smooth skin, mm -hmm. and there's not much hair. Right. We, you can just slip the you needle know, right under the skin there. Mm -hmm. And here's the udder, two, mm -hmm. two nipples, two nozzles. That'll be about yay big. So it's got a ways to yeah. go. Now, um, for an older you, it'll be bigger than that. But since these are first timers. Gotcha. It'll be about, you know, like a bit, maybe a softball in there. Gotcha. I'm amazed at how they will let you handle them like that without just absolutely yeah, you going You know, if you watch them shear sheep, yeah. they don't actually hold them. They just lean them up. Uh-huh. And they, they're, they're, it's like you get, <laughs> their gut immobilizes them. Unbelievable. Yeah. Good girl, Milkweed. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> so let's say that Mama has three babies. This happened last week to us. No she had kidding. three babies. She decided to take one uh -oh. and hit the road. <laughs> we found the other two in the bar. Nothing happening. Nobody coming back to get them. That first taste of milk is actually colostrum. Right. It's full of things that pass on immunities. 
So it's very important that they have that within the first six hours. Oh, wow. So if you have some lambs that don't get that um, or aren't going to get that, then you need to do something. Mm -hmm. So you catch mom, put a halter on her, and you milk her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is really handy for lambing. This goes on that okay. little little rubber tube. So if you're going to milk mama, mm -hmm. you can milk her into this. And then you, if you put it in the lamb's mouth on top of the tongue, it'll start the swallow mechanism. And you can just keep on swallowing until you get, it, to get about all of it in there. How much would you put? Just a, a full container? I fill it up. And but just by gravity, it'll go into the stomach. Then you can pull it back up. There's a danger. If you get it part way down and it stops, you're in the wrong spot after you're in the lung. Oh. Yeah. So you don't want to do that. So that you're you're fine as long as you can get just about all of it in there. It'll all go in there. Gotcha. If right. it's in the right spot. Right. Are you seeing a more of demand for lamb and sheep as time goes on? It looks to me like more and more people are thinking about it. You know, 40% of Americans have never eaten lamb. That's wrong. I <laughs> know, it's wrong. That's just wrong. But you know, I was... So when we do store demos and people try it, it opens their eyes. And when you talk about the benefits, health benefits, let's just go ahead and talk about the health yeah. benefits of lamb as opposed to, now I'm still going to eat my beef, yeah. but talk about the health benefits of lamb as opposed to other meat. Well, well lamb, lamb has a lot of the good kind of fat, mm -hmm. not the bad kind of fat. Right. And it's one of the most digestible meats. That's true. That's it's easy true. on your stomach. Yes. Of course, we eat a lot of lamb now, and we eat goat as well, wonderful, yep. wonderful source of protein. I think 70% mm -hmm. of the world eats goat meat except for us. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But I like yeah. my lamb. I really yeah. like my lamb. Well, I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Well, There's a lot, you. Of, a lot of things you could have been doing, yeah. but I thank you for helping us out and putting up with Moses. Love his heart. He's a sweet animal, but he's, he's a <laughs> bit of a ditz. <laughs> well, I wish, wish you all the best. And uh, give us a call if there's any. Thank you so much. And I will continue with. to enjoy your product. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.